Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Helen if you are new here, mum of four big kids. Today I have a Sainsbury's shopping haul for you and it's quite a big one this week. So last week's shopping was really small um, <clears throat> and it cost me about £60 and I didn't order a lot of stuff just because we had so much stuff left over. So this week and going back to school this week and just sort of back into our normal routine, this week's shop is really big. I spent £135 um, before any discounts. <coughs> and I have got a few substitutions, so I'm not sure some of them which are going to go back. I'm not sure what that's going to bring the total down to. So if I do get that confirmation email before I edit and upload this video, I will let you know. Um, but I'm guessing it's probably just over £130 in total. So I'm going to show you what we have. And um, what I was wondering about is if anybody would like it if I went to do an Asda shop at the Essentials range, um, particularly from a viewpoint of people with allergies, um, just to have a look, see what their... Um, the range is like. I was toying with the idea, I've seen quite a few hauls of it, some of the stuff looks really good, um, but I'd like to get in there, get in with the nitty gritty, have a look, see how suitable it is for people and what the quality is like as well. So if you're interested in that, please let me know. Um, but apart from that, let's get on with the haul and um, let's show you what we've got. Here is the fridge, the freezer stuff and a few cupboard bits. Um, I did say there was a lot, I can't get it all on the table. So um, I'm gonna do it in two sections to show you. Um, over here, this is the first time I have bought toilet rolls in months because I have been getting them on Amazon subscribe and save, um, but I have run out before my delivery. So I just got a nine pack. Uh, we got four pints of milk. I ordered these chicken nuggets, I think they were on offer, um, so I thought I'd top up. Some chopped onions. Um, I ordered chicken poppers and these were a substitute. Um, I just kept those anyway. Uh, peas. Um, Amelia wanted some chicken breast for what she's doing. Um, I've still got chicken breast in my freezer as well anyway, but she likes to add some of her own shopping into our shopping and then sometimes she goes and buys bits for herself. Amelia's 19 and she's gluten free and she likes to do a lot of her own um, cooking and shopping, which is really nice. She's quite independent like that, which is good. Um, got some mints for our chilli, I ordered two lots of bacon, this is something like 83p, it's really nice bacon actually, <clears throat> um, and I got another gammon steak, so I often have those either at the weekend if I'm just cooking for myself, or sometimes in the week if the kids are having something I can't eat because of my allergies. Some rice milk, because I'm going to make a rice pudding. Um, this week so it's going to be dairy free rice pudding I'm going to see how um, that turns out because I've never made a dairy free one in fact I haven't even made a regular one for so many years to be honest but I'm really looking forward to that uh, I got some waffles <laughs> I got five of these but obviously I don't want to put five on the table and I can't remember if we had one or two of those there might be another one in my basket Got some pineapple slices for the gammon and some kidney beans. And this was a substitute in flavour, but that was fine. I think I ordered a tomato and garlic one. And then this is a very small little bottle. I didn't realise it was so small, but it was quite cheap. That was on offer as well. And I thought we'd give that a try, see if everyone likes that one. Uh, so we're having pizza this week. Um, Daisy is dairy intolerant, so... This is the first time I've seen a ready to top pizza base, like no cheese on it, um, but it's got all the flavourings and sauce on it. So I thought we'd try that. And then I've got a barbecue chicken regular pizza for Leon. I got some grated mozzarella. And then for sandwich meat, I thought we'd try this one and see what this one's like. This is a cheaper version of like the roast chicken meat that I had been buying. So we'll see what that's like. I've got some of this, which is absolutely delicious, but this is a treat because it's not very cheap. I did buy, so <laughs> it's lunchtime. The kids have already um, jumped into some of this food. So they've wrapped that up because they've started on the ham. So I've got two of the smoked one 
and then I have got just a regular roasted ham as well. Um, scotch eggs, which they've dipped into. Got some gnocchi. So again, this is something that I might have at the weekend or um, when the kids have got something I can't have. Um, I do love that, and that sort of does two, at least two portions for me. Three if I'm having a, a lot of something else to go with it. I got chicken bites. I'm sure I ordered three, so there might be one hanging around somewhere. I don't know, but they were on offer again, so I got those. I picked up these, and I know this is probably the most expensive way to buy Philadelphia, but he only, it's one person in our family that will eat it, and he's not eating much at a time, so it's just going to go off and get thrown away, which is what I used to do before when my eldest used to eat Philadelphia and no one else ate it. So I'm just going to buy the tubs and just see how that goes. I've still got two tubs from last week, so he's not going through it fast. Then I got cheeses. I bought two of those. Some carrots, uh, some spinach, cucumber. Decided to get some baking potatoes. Like, nobody really likes jacket potatoes, but I'm going to try and be good and I'm going to have one myself and see if I like them after all these years. I might slow cook them. So that's the plan anyway. I don't think the kids will eat them. Uh, I've got onions, courgettes, broccoli, got some peppers over there. So I picked up um, salted caramel cheesecake flavoured Miller Lights. I think they were like 40p or something on offer. And then I picked up these. So I've got strawberry flavour and all these were on offer. Um, peach passion fruit and sticky toffee so we didn't really love the chocolate one that we got last week he said it was nice but it didn't taste of chocolate um so i thought we'd try these other flavors uh while they were on offer and they've got a good date on them actually that one's october and these two are later in um, September, so they'll last for a while. Then I picked up two of the Innocent Smoothies. Again, they were on offer. Um, just thought that'd be nice for them, just to have a bit of extra fruit. Got some cherries before they go out of season completely. Grapes, strawberries, lemons for my lemon pasta, and just I always like to have lemons in the fridge. These were so cheap. That's quite a decent size bag. And I think it was something like a pound. I'll put the price on screen for you anyway. Um, and I got the four seed mix. So I buy um, dates in bulk and then I tend to make different uh, date um, snacks for the kids. Uh, they like those, so I put seeds in those. I put seeds in my muesli, which I also put dates in as well. Um, so they really come in handy. And these are nice resealable packets as well, which are great. Got one of the microwave rices, got some vegetable oxo, and then I got pudding rice. So this is the correct sort of rice to use for rice pudding. So looking forward to making that. Eggs, bagels, and the seeded bread went down a treat last week, although it was a white one because it was um, substitute from brown to white. This week it's brown, so I'm going to see what he says, whether he liked it or not. But he's doing well with the seeded bread, which is great. So I'm going to put this away and I'll be back in a second with the next lot for you. Right, this is everything else. Um, so this is a lot of bad stuff. There was a lot of good offers on. I did save quite a bit of money. Um, and we have run our snacks down quite a lot. Our crisp cupboard is nearly empty. Um, so start with the crisps. I picked up ready salted, some vinegar, squares, prawn cocktail walkers. And these I haven't seen before. Sensations balsamic vinegar and caramelised onion. I thought they looked nice. Um, I'm sure they were on offer. Big bag of skips. So I've been trying to think of different snacks for the kids um, or different pudding items. I can't really think of a lot. And it's like Daisy, she could have um, dairy-free yogurt, but she's just gone off it at the moment. So I'm really struggling for puddings and stuff. So I picked up some meringue nests, although obviously I can't have tons because that is red for the sugar. 
years and years ago when I used to do Simming World we could actually have one of those with some yogurt or something for a pudding and it was like barely any sins so I'm not sure how bad they are but it was just something different um, I was looking for different biscuits and these were on offer so I picked up some of those uh, Rich Teas, Bag Haribo that was on offer these were on offer so I got two of those I think the timeouts were on offer as well but I thought that would be a change because they haven't had those for a while although thinking about it I just realised Amelia can't have these because they got wheat in didn't think about that so that'll just be Leon and Ellie when she comes over I can have those I've uh, got some more Outpro desserts these are the soya based ones uh, Jeff cakes I mean I do let Daisy have these ones because it's dark chocolate it's not too much dairy so I do let her have some of those then we got some fibre one bars these were all on offer as well Ellie asked me to pick up a packet for her to take back with her because she's moved out now so she had asked for one of these and I can't remember if she asked for salt caramel or the lemon um, but I got some for the others anyway so we've got three different flavours storing loaves I get these when they're on offer got these for Amelia because obviously there's a lot of stuff here that she can't have obviously she can't have any of the biscuits at all um all those all those all the fairy cakes so <laughs> I got those for her as a nice treat which is just some panel chocolate um got some tortilla wraps fairy cakes then I got some Vimto because I haven't bought any for a couple of weeks kitchen roll uh, dog waste bags I, have, I don't need to buy these that often actually but um, hopefully they're quite good ones Leon wanted me to get one of these uh, let me know if you've got one and if you like it or not um, I didn't realise you could change these over I thought you should be able to so otherwise that would get very expensive and be a lot of wastage um, but yeah I change my sponges a lot so let me know if you like that if you've got one um, or if you think it's a waste of money but that was on offer as well and I thought do you know what I'll get one and maybe he might do some washing up probably not but <laughs> and then I got a smoothing facial scrub that was on offer as well so a lot of stuff a lot spent like I said it was 130 something pound um, I actually didn't send that much back I think it was two items I sent back so I probably still had about 133 pounds worth of stuff I reckon um, so I don't think I've done bad considering all the snacks that we've got I mean those crisps are gonna last ages the biscuits will last quite a while um, all these snacky bits but you know back to school they need snacks for school they need snacks after school you know they're just constantly hungry you know I've got a teenage boy who just needs to eat a lot um but yeah we've got loads and obviously all the other bits that we had as well so i'm actually quite pleased i feel like i've done like two weeks worth of shopping almost um not for like the next two weeks but because i didn't get much last week um we did kind of run out of everything really so anyway thank you for watching if you're wondering what that humming noise was it is this so i'm sorry if it was loud in the video but I'm just dehydrating some mango. Here is our meals for the week. So Monday, which was yesterday, we had sweet and sour noodles, or the kids had sweet and sour noodles. Um, Tuesday, today, we are having chili con carne with rice and salad. Wednesday I'm going to do my prosciutto pasta which I do have on my channel as a recipe and it's absolutely delicious we have that often I've already got the prosciutto in the fridge because it lasts ages in the fridge so I bought it a little while ago in preparation for whenever we were going to use it um, Thursday kids are going to have pizza and Friday um, probably chicken fajitas again rice salad wraps that sort of thing we just enjoy it quite often I mean I don't know I'm sure you've all got a meal that you particularly enjoy so let me know what your sort of go-to or your weekly favorite is and um, that seems to be ours um, so yeah that is our recipes for the week and that's what we're going to be doing 
if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up because all the thumbs up really really help um, and comment and subscribe if you're not already subscribed I'd love to have you here um, thanks for watching everyone